up everyone? Welcome to another vlog. Ooh, today is Wednesday. I spent part of my day yesterday going through a lot of my clothing. I kind of got to a point, and I wonder if any of you guys have gotten there, where if you're someone that has had a kid, I'm over a year postpartum, I kind of feel like I'm around where I'll probably stay shape and weight wise, and I'm cool with that. So I felt like it was time to get rid of things that were way too tight that are like, you know, pre first pregnancy type clothing. And I also wanted to get rid of stuff that's just too big or a little frumpier than what I feel like dressing in. Cause I, I feel like, I don't know, I'm feeling good. I guess that's my point. So it was a nice feeling to kind of get rid of some of that stuff. So if you are in that point where you are feeling content with where you are and, or even, I just feel like, oftentimes we'll hold on to clothes that are way too small for us. And yes, there may be a day that we will fit into them and that's awesome. But odds are that if you get to that point where you're like, I just want to lose 20 pounds and you lose whatever amount of pounds. And by that point, you're probably going to want to buy some new clothes because you're going to be all excited. So I just feel like sometimes it can be mentally draining to continually be bombarded with things that just don't fit you that you wish did, and I think it can be healthy to get rid of them. So, boy, I came in hot into this vlog, didn't I? <laughs> I hope I didn't like offend anyone, but I just, I feel like it's it can be healthy to get rid of those things. Not that you may not still have a goal, but you know, once you reach that goal, you might be ready to get some new stuff. Maybe styles will have changed and whatever. And maybe you're not gonna get back to that, and that's okay too. I guess that's my point, and that's why it felt good to get rid of that stuff. But I also got rid of some stuff that's a little too big for me. And yeah, so I kind of split it. I am gonna try to consign some stuff. I typically just donate everything and I'm donating a big old bag. But it also, I figured just to try it out, what will probably happen is I will go into the consignment store, have them go through the stuff and I'll end up, whatever I would make, I'll probably end up spending at that same <laughs> consignment shop. We'll see. I'm also thinking about doing um, thread up because I have sent clothes to them in the past, but I think they've changed up how they do it. And I know they like send you a bag and you send it in, but I think, like I said, I think they've, they're they doing it differently than they used to. So I might look into that. If you have any experience with thread up, let me know. I mean, recent experience since they've made the changes. So yeah, I just, I kind of need to clean up. Let me show you what I'm working with here. I've got makeup from yesterday. I've got donation, consignment. I've got things over there that I just need to, like a return I need to make, just various things. I did, this room actually looked a lot worse. I had a pile of clothes on there that needed to be hung up. I did get that done, so that's nice. I've got another return I need to get like labeled and in the mail. I did wanna take a second to thank today's video sponsor, which is Brooklinen. We're gonna get into that in a little bit cause I just got some new towels and I feel like such an adult with these towels because we have needed a fresh set. So I'm excited to show those to you guys. Um, I need some coffee. I need to give Pinocchio a little kiss over there. And yeah, those, those are the first things on the horizon. <laughs> I've also been going through Genevieve's room. Can you commiserate with me here? Why is it like kids, they acquire stuff. Like we get them toys, they get toys. But the thing that drives me nuts is not really the toys. It's the little things that are so special to them. They must keep them like a pile of rocks. She's got like 18 rocks in her room right now in various places and little coins and, and little pieces of paper. and. And we love to keep like certain things. Like obviously there will be things we keep. We have a keepsake box, like special artwork she makes, but you can't, you can't keep it all. So um, trying to figure out a system for that. I was talking to my sister about it and she was saying that someone she knows literally has a drawer or two that their kids are allowed to put whatever they want in it. So all those silly little things they wanna keep, that is their drawer. If it overflows, they've got to get rid of some stuff, but like that is their drawer to keep whatever they want. And I think that might be a good idea because as my sister said, Jesse, you're fighting a losing battle. Like your kids will always have stuff. They will always want to keep and that's okay, but just managing it. So let me know if you have any thoughts on that. I think I might just try the drawer system. Just have one drawer in her dresser. That's like, it's kind of like her junk drawer. You know what I mean? Like I, I have a junk drawer, <laughs> like nothing wrong with that. So We'll find our way, but I definitely, she's definitely at a point where we need to get rid of some toys, donate them because, um, you know, for example, she just got a new castle, Disney little play castle for her birthday and she has an old one. Don't get me started on that. <laughs> 
But anyway, the new one actually is cool and it's a little more compact, which is great. And it came with like some of the rides. I clearly thought it was cool. Sliding is interesting. Anyway, so just things that need to go. So, all right, coffee time. Well, I uh, was gonna do hot coffee as you saw, but I just swerved and I'm gonna put it over ice because as I thought about like actually sipping on hot coffee, I was like, no, it's a warm day. I want iced coffee. Also, I might make a shot of espresso to put in it because I use like the ice. We don't use our Keurig for everything. We usually use our pot, but our pot is out of coffee because Tyler was drinking some coffee this morning. We It was a rough night last night with Felicity, but I myself have not had a lot of coffee today, so I don't feel too bad about also putting espresso in it. Anyway, we do love our little espresso maker. It's a Braville one. I can link below. It is truly an often used valuable little lovely item in our home. Oh, what I was gonna say is I usually use those iced coffee K-cup pods that you can get because they genuinely hold up better to ice. And the most important thing is it's as if the, the coffee's stronger or something because once the ice like cools it down, it still tastes strong. Because with regular coffee, when you pour it over ice, you know, once it cools it down, the ice obviously has melted some and it just waters it all down. With this, it doesn't water it down, it's crazy. But I didn't use that, so I feel like I need to strengthen it by adding in a shot. We're gonna see. <laughs> Hopefully it's good. Also, one of Tyler's agents sent us crumble cookies for Tyler's birthday. So I guess she sent them to him, but you know, we've obviously been annihilating them the past few days. But can I give a little shout out to the best thing crumble makes, which is this Rice Krispie thing? Holy moly. Like if I'm picking, it's gonna be that every time. Allergies are still in full swing in case you're curious. I feel like I bring it up in every video, but it is prevalent in my life right now, okay guys? So as I mentioned earlier, this part of the video is sponsored by Brooklinen. We've been working together for quite a bit now and I love working with them because I, I should say this, we are a Brooklinen family. We have converted, all of our sheets are Brooklinen, our duvet covers are duvet. Um, we're now getting into the towel game and these y'all, are so soft. They are so soft. These are definitely the nicest towels we have ever had. I feel like such an adult. So if you've never heard of Brooklinen, they are based in Brooklyn or they were created, founded in, in Brooklyn, hence the name Brooklinen. Absolutely genius. Anyway, but they make really lovely, luxurious linens for your home, whether it's sheets, towels, etc. I actually have a Brooklyn and robe that I love. Tyler got for me, I wanna say for Christmas. It's the white waffle robe, if you ever see me in that in a video. It's Brooklyn and baby. <laughs> but to us, we've kind of hit a point where we, like especially with towels, we've had a mishmash of like towels from different parts of our lives and stages in our life that that's just like what we use. And I feel like we've never really done the adult thing to like get a nice towel set. And so that's what we've got here today. And these are definitely, like I said, the nicest ones we've ever had. And for us, I just feel like that's kind of a part of adulting, like really feeling like you're curating your home with really nice things when you can. But our thing was we wanted them to wash really well. We want them to last a long time and get softer with each wash. And that is what these do. The same is true for their sheets as well. They definitely get softer with each wash. But but their sheets and their towels are tried and true. They have over 100,000 five-star reviews. I feel like I could like add my name to the list of five-star reviews. But what's cool is you can mix and match different colors, different patterns to fit your own aesthetic. We went with this light gray. I think this set is going to go, see this is where I'm torn. We need, I might end up buying another set to be honest because this is most likely gonna go in the kids' bathroom because that is where we desperately need towels the most. We're using these like old ones that are stained and ripped and none of them match and I cannot wait to whew, donate those, maybe do a dog shelter. I know a lot of them, animal shelters will use those and have a nice new set. Okay, so what I went with is the Brooklinen Super Plush Move-In Bundle. So you do save 15% when you buy a bundle versus buying things individually. So that's always a nice way to get a nice chunk off. I like this bundle in particular because it comes with four bath towels, four hand towels, four washcloths and a rug and the rug matches the towels perfectly and it's super washable. I'm tired 
of rugs that I can't wash. Like it's it's just not an option and I love, this one is absolutely perfect and they have two different sizes depending on like your bathroom needs. But, and I'm gonna read this cause I didn't wanna screw up how I said it, but these are made in a certain way so that in theory they really should be longer lasting. So it says that they're woven using a superior Z twist construction, which means less pulled threads, less pilling and longer lasting towels. So I think that's awesome. We have like one or two randomly like super expensive towels that we bought and within three washes, a uh, thread got loose and then the entire thing unraveled. Like the entire edge of it is like open. I'm like, you've gotta be kidding me. So really excited that these seem to be even better made than those and hopefully will last longer. I wish you guys could feel this in person because these are plush. Like they're straight up thick. <laughs> they are thick boys. <laughs> like it, it really is so lovely. Like I think of towels I've felt in store at different places and none of them I'm trying to think, like none of them have quite felt as like plush as this. Like I just know if I went to someone's house and this was a hand towel and I were drying my hands, I'd be like, what is this towel? And I would be looking at the tag. It's one of those, you know what I mean? Where you'll have people looking at the tag like, what brand is this? So if you're ready to invest in some really nice towels, maybe you want to get one of these bundles, maybe you want to look at their sheet sets or their duvet, oh my gosh. The duvet, oh my gosh, it's so like, last night I literally rolled over in bed and I was like, and it's just like a cloud. It's the best. Anyway, I could talk and talk and talk, obviously, but if you do wanna check out Brooklinen for yourself, you can get $20 off your order of $100 or more with my code, which is Jessica Braun. I'll have the link to click and then you've got the code. I'll have that down in the description box for you guys for your reference. I really don't think you'll be disappointed. This could also be a good thing, like if you wanted to ask for, for birthday, Christmas. Father's Day? I don't know. Mother's Day's already passed. <laughs> Maybe you're just gonna spoil yourself. <laughs> so thank you so much to Brooklyn and for sponsoring this part of the video. Okay, I just washed and dried the towels. Oh my gosh, they really are softer and they're just so, so plush. Like look at, look at this. I wish you, I could like get through how thick it really feels, but I just love that it looks so well made as well. Mm, 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 mm. I think they need like two more minutes. Words cannot express my immense <laughs> relief having gone through everything in Genevieve's room. We got rid of a lot of stuff. I'm going to pop a picture on the screen of everything we got rid of, like the amount. And it's not just from her room. Some of it was like my, my bag of clothes, some other stuff in the house that we were getting rid of that we, we kind of like acquire, not acquire. <laughs> we accumulate things. Pinocchio, always finds trash. We accumulate like a goodwill or donation pile and then when there's enough then we'll take it. So it's a mixed bag of things, literally mixed bags. <laughs> like I went through all of the drawers, like this is so much better. Look at this, so simple. But this, I should have taken it before. It was embarrassing, but now we like actually have everything where it goes. She had like seven pairs of sunglasses. How? <laughs> So we got rid of some of those, um, but even little things like, obviously I think most people, it's not as aesthetically pleasing to like not have the clothes in the middle, which is where I had them. But the issue was we always store her little like taller play things on there. And so the clothes would be intertwined with them. This is just so much better. So even though it's not as pretty, it works a lot better. But I went through all of the drawers in here, um, went through all of these things. Like for example, I, I know I shared this like a year ago when I did this stuff but the adult supervision box there is stuff that has smaller pieces, things that are more, not messy, but would be harder to put away properly. So those are things that she does one way around, basically. We've got a thing of puzzles as well, same reason. She can get them when she wants, if she asks, but that way we don't have puzzle pieces everywhere. <laughs> so that system has worked pretty well for us. And this, I get a lot of questions about when I show it. It's a um, keepsake box. I have one for Felicity too, but you know what? I have all the things for it, but I haven't actually stuck the name on and stuff, so I need to do that soon. But yeah, this is such a good feeling. I'm just thrilled. We She had a whole bunch of dollars too. Tyler walked in here and said, where'd she get all this money? I was like, I know some of it was Tooth Fairy, but geez, anyway. Um, but even little things like this. Got rid of some stuffies that she has not played with in, I couldn't even tell you, and they weren't ones worth keeping for Felicity, so. Just a good feeling all around. And even the bookshelf, like really paring down what we have. We have kids books in the basement as well. So some that we wanted to keep, we put down there. And yeah, it's just such a good feeling, you guys. And speaking of the basement, if you've been following along for a while, it's pretty much done. And so we're now in the mode of like, 
organizing what we want to keep down there and we like the idea of having some toys down there especially ones that like I have this little box right here and it's stuff that I don't want to get rid of by any means but we don't necessarily need up here maybe they aren't playing with it right now very much it's almost like a built-in toy rotation because they don't go down to the basement to play a lot that's really more like <laughs> where Tyler and I go in the evening to watch a movie or something so but I have a strong suspicion it, they will more and more, especially when it's not so nice out. You know what I mean? We all just want to be outside right now. So now I need to go drop all this stuff off. And I think I'm going to grab a kombucha because that sounds good. And I told Tyler I was sweating so much going up and down the stairs, like getting all the Goodwill stuff down and into the trunk that um, I'm counting that as my workout. <laughs> oh, hi, Asian boy. Look at that waggly tail. Hi, buddy. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> so I pulled off my laces from my Air Force Ones, like my white shoes I wear with everything. And really, because I cleaned the shoes themselves and they looked so much better, but the laces were so dirty, it was like glaringly obvious. So I pulled them off, sprayed them with some like stain treatment, and then I just put them in this mesh bag and washed them with some other stuff. And they came so clean. I really should have taken a before and after because this is like night and day. And these shoes weren't even that old. I'm like, how do laces get so dirty? But that was something I don't know that I've ever done, but it was totally a game changer. So if you have white shoes and you feel like they're looking a little, eh, you know what I mean? Just a little dingy, wash the laces too because that might make a bigger difference than you realize, you know? Can you guys? Oh, Tyler, was, he's reading that bedtime story. <laughs> he's reading a bedtime story to Genevieve and he's doing silly voices. So... Just finished making dinner. Um, the girls ate earlier, which honestly worked out. It's actually a really weird schedule. Felicity ate for a bit. Gigi and I took Pinocchio on a walk. She ate and then this was taking too long anyway. It ended up being like everyone's eating at different times. So it was just a weird night. But I made bulgogi bowls. So let me show you. We make it pretty easy. Um, let me show you our like shortcuts. So the recipe we do, we basically take a HelloFresh recipe and kind of make it our own and cut corners where we can. So we buy pre-shredded carrots and then olive oil, salt, pepper, saute it in the pan. This is um, sour cream with sriracha in it and then a little bit of water to kind of cut, to liquefy it a little bit more, you know? And then we made it tonight with tofu. I just kind of crumbled it up. And then this is the first time I've ever not made my bulgogi sauce, I bought it. And it's not bad. It's not the same. I don't think it's as good as homemade and homemade's not difficult to make, but um, it is not bad. And it was, I mean, that saved a good amount of time right there. And then we put it all over rice and then, oh, zucchini. The other part of it right here, zucchini, same thing as the carrots. We just cut it up, salt, pepper, olive oil, and pan fry it. So it ends up, it's not difficult to make. Like I feel like it's all pretty easy, but it just, ends up dirtying up a lot of pans. So we try to saute all of the things in the same pan, take it out, saute the next, take it out. But that also takes up more time. So anyway, over explaining, but I am very excited. This is one of my favorite meals. So there she blows. It's so good. Honestly, we had forgotten completely about doing sriracha mayo, or not mayo, oh my gosh, no. Sriracha sour cream uh, until tonight. Like we haven't made it with this in a year and it's so good. So just got my nails done. Um, also spilled coffee on my shirt. I don't usually bring in uh, coffee with me, but today was just one of those days. And sure enough, spilled it right on me. So I went with what is called a hybrid gel. This is like the new trend, the lip gloss nails, where they're like literally look like, nat I mean, they are my natural nails, but they use, I was asking him about it. He called it a hybrid gel. And so it's kind of like a, it was like a cream. He squeezed out onto the nail and then pressed it in and flattened it and, you know, made it all even. And then you still cure it with a gel thing. But my concern was I can never just do gel manis because my nails just like it, it just never lasts. So that's why I've always done powder dip because it makes the nails stronger. So they will last for weeks and weeks. That's kind of what this is like, but it's on the natural nail. So there wasn't like a dip base. Anyway, I'm over explaining for some people and under explaining probably for others. But point is, I just think it's so cool. I love how like natural it looks, but it still has that like lip glossy look where it's like, you know, Anyway, I was super jazzed about it. He was worried. He was like, is it too natural? He was, well, he kept saying it looks really natural. I'm like, no, no. I, I just think that looks so neat and just ever so slightly different. I feel like every time I see this trend, it's with a um, like press-ons. And so I was excited to get it done on my nails. Anyway, that's all. Okay. I feel like I look crazy today. 
I just feel like I look crazy. So I need to run some errands. I finally have the clothes to take to the consignment shop. I think I might try to get that done today. I need to drop off a UPS return. Oh, and I have a Sephora return to make as well. We'll see if I get all of that done. Well, look at where I am. <laughs> I made my return and now I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh no, you guys, it's getting worse. Why would you guys let me go into a Sephora in person? I so rarely go into one for exactly this reason. I walk out with way too much. But the nice thing was I was able to kind of shade match some stuff um, and make sure I'm actually getting the right shade because that's why I was returning what I was returning because the shade was wrong. And I'm like, I'm tired of doing this. I'm going in in person. So anyway, I'm excited. Do you guys want to see a haul in this vlog? Because I think it's going to happen. Ooh, it's a doozy. And you know what? I got some like weird stuff, stuff I've like not heard anyone talk about. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, it is Friday morning. We're in Christmas jammies. We're playing on one of her birthday gifts. Mom? And she got a little Minnie Mouse thing. Yeah, Gigi. Now we've got magnet tiles and we've got some like figurines and we're gonna build a house. Squares, okay. Squares. Ooh, geez, what can we use these for? Um, we don't need them. We like to use them. Oh, I was gonna use them for floors. Ooh, what are these? <laughs> okay. <laughs> she wanted to show how she's been building our rooms. Pretty small, cool rooms. Yeah. Yes, she is. She's having fun too. Mm hmm. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Mm hmm. So you have one more. Okay. Again, I need one more. Okay. Uh, um. Ooh. Wow. And then you attach it to the rest of the house? It has four windows. Wow. Y'all. Yeah, okay, first of all, it's Friday. Felicity is just waking up from her nap. And so I was like, okay, I've got to film this. So she's in her bed, like, happy. We'll see, um, but all right. I mentioned I did some damage at Sephora and I did, <laughs> I really did. So um, yeah, I'm excited to show you. First up, I got some just like different things, some things that caught my eye. I very rarely get to go into Sephora and I wanna make it more of a habit considering what I do because I buy a lot of my purchases online and I was able to shade match myself really well. I'm excited to show you a couple things and yeah, I just want to try to make it more of a point. That's really for me, not for you, but just saying, okay. Cause then I don't have to return shades and be like, oh my gosh, I got the wrong one yet again. I know this is obvious to most people, but I don't know. I've just gotten very comfortable with online ordering as I'm sure most of us are with things in life. Okay, all right, let's dive in. So first up, and I actually use this in my hair today. Well, I guess last night when I showered, the Olaplex number no. six bond smoother. So I used to have this, it was in different packaging. Um, I loved this stuff. I really noticed a difference in my the ends of my hair when I use something like this. And especially since now I've been like coloring my hair a bit. I feel like it looks a little funky. I let it like air dry a lot and so it was a little more like naturally wavy. And then I kind of quickly blow dried it to be able to style it. And so I feel like it's like habsy. It's all good, anyway. <laughs> this stuff is so nice. And I don't think I'd realized how much I miss this because um, I've been trying all kinds of other products and some of them are good, some of them are not. But this is just like one of those that's just like king. So very excited to have this. I have not tried a lot of other Olaplex products. Um, I know there've been some controversy about certain things and I honestly haven't looked much, much into it, but I, I definitely love and recommend this product. So one thing I've been trying to do, so I've, I've been introducing retinol back into my routine now that I'm, I'm not pregnant, I'm not breastfeeding or anything like that. So I have like the lower, like 0.025% retinol like prescription and I definitely had noticed some of the like sloughing off of the skin that typically happens and then once you get through that you're through it so I think I'm beyond that point so I'm doing it now like twice a week I'm trying to work up to maybe maybe three times a week so with that I will link the moisturizer I use after that every day that I think has made a huge huge difference in the redness and dryness I was getting once I started using that I feel like it stopped so I love that stuff, I will link it below, but I wanted a little regimen for the other nights when I'm not doing retinol. 
I have decided to kind of take, this is turning into a skincare chat, but I was noticing a lot of my skin, I was having skin barrier problems. And I think a lot of us do that like if you wear makeup every day or quite often and you're removing it all the time and you're using exfoliative products, is that a word? I feel like it should be if it's not. Uh, I feel like there, it, it disrupts your skin barrier, right? And so I feel like I've been trying to lean into repairing it. And especially since I am doing retinol, which of course can be harsh on the skin, I didn't want to also be doing BHAs and AHAs. I'm trying to just lay off of that for a while. So I wanted to do something more soothing and hydrating on the nights I'm not doing retinol, like in between. So I went to the youth to the people area of Sephora and I was kind of looking around and this looked really good. This is their triple peptide and cactus oasis serum. It's supposed to have peptides, hyaluronic acid, um, blah, 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 blah. It's supposed to instantly plump and restore skin's youthful bounce, um, antioxidants, blah, blah, blah. I just said blah, 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 I'm so sorry. It looks cute too, but I'm excited to give this a try. I've only tried a little bit from Youth to the People. I, if I remember right, I wasn't a fan. I know a lot of people like their cleanser and that I didn't love for my skin. But the other product I got to go with that is their Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream. So they have like a sign that was like, Youth to the People has three different moisturizers and this was the most hydrating one. I remember trying a tiny, tiny sample of this a couple years ago and I loved how thick it was. I mean, if you are someone that likes a thick moisturizer, this is the one, like this is the one for you. It is so, so wonderfully thick and moisturizing. Ah, ha, ha. I love it. No discernible smell or anything, which I also love. It's just so moisturizing. So I'm so excited to do this tonight. Actually, it's a retinol night, so I guess I would do it tomorrow. But I'm just excited. I feel like these will go really well with each other. And yeah, here's to trying some new skincare stuff and healing our skin one, one day at a time. Okay, okay. So I also got a, okay, this is a new product from Laura Mercier. I saw Tati, Tati, why did I say it like that? Tati try this in a recent video and it looked really pretty, but my thing was, and I instantly recoiled because I can never find a shade match in Laura Mercier. They always are too yellow. So in store, first of all, let's take a moment for the packaging of this. It's so pretty. I'm loving the updated look they're going with. I feel like it was time. I think Laura Mercier has needed a little, not a rebrand, but just a little bit of some updates to their packaging. And this just looks so pretty. So it's their Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. I got it in the shade 2C2 Soft Sand. So this is going to appear a little, well, no, I was going to say a little deeper than my skin, but the tone of this is Unreal. Also, this is like the most lightweight thing I've ever felt in my life. I swatched it on my face once I got home and it is such a good shade match. Look at that. I am so proud of that tan line from my Apple Watch. But anyway, such a good shade match, such a good tone for me. I am so excited to try a face product from them that's actually gonna be the right color. Oh. But if I were buying this online, I would have thought TC 2C2 would have been way too dark. So again, getting it in store is so nice. Oh, oh, there they are. I'm still in jammy bottoms. <laughs> All right, I well, I had changed my shirt and then I heard her waking up and I'm like, oh my gosh, actually, let me check on her. She's happy, she's just looking around. I had like a toy or two in there, like a book. Okay, so a couple things I actually used today I wanted to show you. I got the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop. This is their blurring skin tint. Has more coverage than you think and that's always what I'd heard. And I could not believe, like I really like the way my skin looks today. I used underneath this the L'Oreal um, Glowy Primer, Glotion. I really like the coverage level of this. It's like a squeezy bottle. Oh, it landed on my pajama pants, thank goodness, oh my gosh. Um, but again, I was able to get a good shade match. I got the shade four. So, very happy. I was so excited to try this out. I'll probably, so I'm trying to think of when my next trying new makeup video would go. Maybe I'll just have to do an extra one this, this uh, in the next week or two because I feel like there's so much to try. But yeah, I so far I'm enjoying that. And then I also tried the Huda Beauty Easy Bake in the shade Cupcake. So this is her very famous loose powder. Like she is very known for baking, putting all that powder on your face, dusting it off, etc. I don't typically do that, although TBH, I kind of want to try it now that I have like the OG powder for that. Kind of. Anyway, 
This shade Cupcake always sells out like during sales. I was gonna buy it during the Sephora sale and it sold out. So I finally got it. I did not bake with it, but I did use it on my under eye and here and like kind of in the T-zone. I feel like it looks pretty nice. Like it looks blurred. You can still see, cause I didn't use a crazy amount, but it definitely blurred the area. It was a little bit perfecting. So that was pretty exciting. I'm just excited to finally try it. It's been out for like years and years. And then I also got the new Say Glow Sculpt, multi-use cream highlighting blush. So this product is, I will tell you this right now, this is gonna turn a lot of people off because it is a very unique product. And I'm gonna be honest, when I looked at it and swatched it, I was like, oh no. And then I saw State of Kate using it and I was like, okay. She was just getting this. So back it up, Jess. It's a kind of like cream to powder type product. It's glowy like a highlighter, but it says it's a highlighter blush. So I'm like, oh, okay. It'll have a little bit more of a tone to it. It really, at least this one, I got the shade Pink Glow. It's not got a lot of like color to it, but she just, and that's what you're seeing here, tapped it and just pressed it in with her finger. And you can really like work it in. And I think it can be really pretty. I'm excited to play with this a little bit more. I have a strong suspicion a lot of people won't like this. I think it's a little bit confusing and I don't know. I just, that was my initial reaction, but I'm liking it so far. I'm glad I saw her video because I think I would have tried to apply this with a brush. I actually still wanna try that because I wonder if it's still lightweight enough to be like picked up by a little brush, kind of like the Rare Beauty highlighter that's kind of cream to powdery. So, but that's one I would like hold off maybe. I, I wanna try it a little bit more. If you're waiting on my recommendation, I wanna try it a little bit more. So I also got the NARS Light Reflecting Eye Brightener. I don't, I think this is new. It looks akin to like all of those eye correctors I really like, like the Bobbi Brown one. This is the shade Night Swan. Did I know what I was getting? Yeah, yeah. I have not swatched this yet other than in store. So yeah, it's just one of those like creamy type products you can tap in your inner corner of your eye and it can really help in theory with brightening up the blue purple tones you might have there. I'm excited to give it a try because I'm totally a sucker for these kinds of products. And I didn't love the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I know a lot of people liked it. I just didn't use it in the way I, I don't know. I was just not a huge fan of that. Okay, I also got the JVN Air Dry Cream. I've been noticing since coloring my hair that it doesn't air dry the way it used to, and that's to be expected. I mean, you're kind of changing your hair. It's, it's a little drier than it usually is. So I've been wanting to get a really good cream that if I'm gonna air dry it and let it be, I wanna make sure I'm hydrating it well. So this looks good. I feel like I've heard really good things about this brand. Um, and it says you can use it with a diffuser, because that was the other thing. I really felt like I didn't have anything currently that I could use with a diffuser to let my hair be its natural wavyish, curlyish self. So I'm excited to give this a whirl and finally try that brand. And then I also got the Day, is that how it's pronounced? D-A-E? Um, vegan Detangle and Style Brush. So I was in need, I usually use like a wet brush to comb my hair out before I start styling and stuff. I liked the idea that this had kind of both. It's got the classic bristles and the like more, the other kind. <laughs> I'm obviously not a hair guru, but it was just pretty. I, I mean, it was kind of pricey for a, a brush, but I needed a new one. This one fit the bill, so, you know, we'll see. I'm gonna give it a try again. I will let you know. I also got, I, I'm gonna need you to not judge me on how much I spent on this hand sanitizer. <laughs> okay, it's from Touchland. It's their Glow Mist Rejuvenating Hand Sanitizer. My mom would kill me if she knew. <laughs> it's just a hand sanitizer, you guys. But it sprays on, which again, that's existed. But it's pretty. <laughs> and it's gonna live in my purse. <laughs> I don't know. They had a couple different kinds of this brand. Um, let's just give it a try, shall we? It says it's rose water scented. I'm gonna be honest, I was not buying it for the scent. I was buying it for the color. I thought this was so pretty. So do you... Oh, I've got makeup on that side, whoops. I should um, <laughs> tabulate how much each spray costs. <laughs> anyway, all right, that was a little treat for myself. I mean, these all were, but you know, <laughs> so pretty. So I got a couple other things, um, but they were actually in an online order like a week ago and I might save these. I'm doing a little like Instagram reel of just a mini Sephora haul and those will be in that. 
Actually, technically the Say product was a part of that. So, oops, but I tried it today, so I wanted to talk about it. Anyway, okay. So, oh, the other thing I got is, uh, let me grab it. The Replica Under the Lemon Trees. I was in the perfume section smelling everything. I smelled Gucci Flora again, and that one is so good. Wait, or what am I thinking of? That's not the one I'm thinking of. Anyway, I smelled all of these replica scents because I feel like I, most of the ones I've smelled, I don't love. Like I like, but they're just maybe a little too masculine for what I'm looking for. Under the Lemon Tree smelled so good. I, I basically was looking for some kind of fun spring, summer, scent because I feel like a lot of mine, I do have a few that I love for this time of year, but I wanted something fresh and this smells very fresh. I was worried it would smell like lemon pledge. It doesn't, it smells just so good. Oh my gosh. The more I'm smelling it, the better it's smelling. So I was thought about buying the big one. I'm like, Jessica, absolutely not. Buy the small one, use it up. If you absolutely love it and you use it up, then maybe it's time to get the big one. But I have a lot of perfume, but this is great because I can also just let it live in my purse, spritz it as I'm going out the door, etc. So a little purse upgrade there, huh? All right, I think that's everything I wanted to show. I'm so excited about all this. I told Tyler, yeah, boy, this is like a long clip for this vlog. It basically is its own video. I told Tyler like, man, I, this was so much fun. It really made me feel like old Jesse, like back when I was, I don't know, like six, seven years ago, when I'd be so excited to go to the store. And I feel like we all, as I mentioned earlier, have gotten so comfortable with online shopping that you forget the joy that there can be. I mean, obviously this is makeup, so it's like a really fun purchase, but even still, the joy that just going to a store can bring, Man, like I still like going grocery shopping. <laughs> like I'm the weirdo that totally loves grocery shopping. Does anyone else? Um, anyway, okay. Thanks for watching this part. I was gonna end it like a real video. This is just a part of the vlog, just, just chill out. Okay, quick little unique low haul, which is just this shirt times three. I'd heard um, another YouTuber I watch, Caitlin's Corner. I'll link her channel because I love her. So she just does like vlogs and stuff. She mentioned that this is like her favorite t-shirt because it's really thick, not see-through, wildly well-made, $14 US. Like, so I bought some on a whim. It was from, not on a whim, because of her recommendations. It's from Uniqlo. We, I've owned, Tyler owns some shirts from Uniqlo. He loves too. So I might find out what it is and see if he wants more. Um, because there's, this is so well made, like look up close. I wish you could see, I feel like it's not like, there we go. Yeah, look how well made. I wish you could feel how like thick this is. It's so nice. I got medium, which is my normal top size. So I would say, and it's still, like I tucked it into some leggings or not leggings, joggers, but it's, it, it is not see-through at all. So I also got white and black and this is gonna be my go-to white tee. Because think about it, what's the biggest issue you have with white tees? Okay, there's two. One, you get them stained, because of course you do. But two, they're see-through, so you have to wear a very certain bra and like this and the other. Um, yeah, there's no way this is see-through, and this is so much thicker. I guess like I'm trying to see. Yeah, it's so much thicker than my other white shirts, but not like uncomfortably thick. It's perfect, feels so well made. I just cannot believe these were $14. So Uniqlo actually our favorite, um, like our go-to kind of fall, early winter coats that are like, we'll wear when it's raining, when it's just slightly chilly, but they pack to be tiny, are also from Uniqlo and we love them. Anyway, so wanted to mention this because when I opened this package today, I was like, I cannot believe, like these are so much nicer than I ever would have guessed. And I feel like the sleeve is a good length. It's not too long, but it's not capped where it's just your whole arms out. Like it's, I don't know, I'm vibing on it. Now I wanna, <laughs> I have white, black, and this. I'm gonna live with these for a bit, but what I might do is replace some of my other ones that are really worn, like if there's any colors I know I wear a lot. Um, like I could see myself getting a gray. If they sell a gray, I could definitely see that. But anyway, that's all. Very excited. I'll link the exact ones because they sell a lot of different tees from there. I'll link these exact ones for you. So this little one, we're having some strawberries and she is vibing on these like little non dippers and avocado. Oh, she's loving it. Okay, we're at Costco. This little big kid, she's tired. Um, the older kid is not tired though. Anyway, we're walking around and yes, we were I not, <laughs> actually I'm the oldest one. So we were walking around and we were like, we're not gonna go through the fun aisles, which is these aisles where it's like kitchen stuff and stuff. To us, they're fun. Um, we were gonna skip them because we only have like an hour and we like genuinely are here because we need some stuff. But then we glance over and we see all the coffees in this aisle. We're like, what? So we think they move the coffee on purpose because a lot of people get their coffee here. 
And then they'd have to go down these aisles. There's a go chance, the of course, aisle. that they'll find something they want to buy. It's absolutely genius. Okay. These are so cool. They're like snack containers. What? I love these pairings, though. We got Mulan with Belle. Interesting. Pocahontas, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White with Jasmine. I'm just thinking time periods. Like, we got sleep. Yeah, Sleeping Beauty with Pocahontas is an interesting combo time wise. Although, half of them I feel like I don't really know their time. You know what I mean? Like, is Tiana today or was it like 1950? Like, I'm trying to think of the dresses they were wearing. Like, you know what I'm saying? All right, we did it. We got <laughs> very special thing. And then we got these right there. Ooh, baby. And a lot of other things. Some things we buy a lot and some newbies. But this was a very needed run, most importantly, for the water softener salt. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll make fun of, we've already recorded this once anyway. I only have lip liner on because my lip product wore off. <laughs> There's my mom. <laughs> We're laughing about what happened the first time we filmed this. So we went to a nice dinner because tomorrow's Father's Day. So I wanted to take my dad and my mom. Because I didn't get to take you out on Mother's Day. Yeah. I think we should start a tradition. Yeah. I don't often get alone time with you guys, I feel like, so it's <laughs> nice. No kids. No kids. No just, kids. Just us goofies. Yeah. It was so fun. <laughs> so we had a very nice dinner. We are very full. And there, it just happened to be that a festival is about to start. So we're going to kind of walk down it and then eventually head home. But it just feels nice out, too. It's like, it sure does. It's nice. Yeah. Kids playing in the water. I know. Here's my pa, the man of the hour. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Do you want to go walk down this festival? Sure. <laughs> okay. Sure. Good morning, everyone. We're making a Father's Day breakfast. We're going to bring to him in bed. We're doing cheesy eggs. And what else do we get? Gigi prepared, I mean, I help with kiwi, but the fruit for him. And then uh, what else? Oh, we were going to do an English muffin, his favorite kind, cinnamon raisin. And then we've got bacon in there. If you have never baked bacon, give it a try. You're going to be surprised. But Gigi is helping so much. Thank you, Gigi. All right. Not bad. We've got everything together and the bacon is really good. <laughs> I'm, I'm within the leaves. Happy Tuesday. So, um, boy, I, uh, what a week it's been. I'm excited that we've started a new week. We didn't have any help with the girls yesterday. And so we usually do on a Monday. So the day ended up just being kind of hectic with us both trying to work. And anyway, we got through it, but we've got help with the girls today. So I'm like, Phil, I just filmed a video. Tyler and I are about to film the podcast. Like we got a lot going on. Um, but I wanted to end this vlog and thank Brooke Lennon, of course, for sponsoring a part of this video. If you do want to get $20 off your order of $100 or more on Brooke Lennon's site, you can use my code, which is Jessica Braun. I'll have that information and the code down in the description box. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching the entire video. If you did, that leaf is really trying to be a part of this vlog, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, um, if you want to catch some more of my vlogs, I'll link my playlist as I always do right there in the info box as well. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.